welcome to yet another episode of our mindful monday conversations my name is Upe, aka the mindpreneur so mindful monday just is intended for us to have downtime learn some information about how we can better take care of our minds how can we be present how can we practice mindfulness so today as usual i'm just sharing my thoughts about how i'm trying to stay mindful and i found something on the brain doctors channel on instagram is instagram a channel no okay let's just say instagram account i found on the brain doctor's instagram account something she called happiness chemicals and how to get your daily dose of happiness chemicals like i said or usually say monday is high 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 potential for stress and if we can learn how to get some happiness in I'm in for that. I'm sold any given day. So this is what I will be sharing today. So the first happiness hormone that she talks about is dopamine. And she says it's for reward and motivation. And the way that we can get, not get in some dopamine, but increase the production of dopamine in our body is through exercise. So some recommendation for exercise that I can that I can give is just walking at home, which is something that is really easy to do for a beginner or if you have been exercising and you haven't done it in a while, you can start by walking at home. You can search out on YouTube some fun home dance exercise that are simple and the importance is just to move your body. And we are learning today that you know it makes you feel happier and there's also the fact that when you exercise and you you get your heart rate up and you do a 40 minute session you also prevent your mind from diseases like alzheimer's which is very common these days which which causes loss of memory and things like that in your older age so it regresses that by years when you consistently exercise so try walking at home just youtube these things things are completely available and so when you exercise you feel motivated and you you feel it's like a feeling of reward and then meditation ah this one is a very tricky topic meditation has really been helpful for me not even just for for feeling happy and feeling calm meditation has really it, I feel like it has helped a lot even with like my gut health with my low blood pressure as well I don't have as many episodes I also don't have as many episodes with gastritis uh, again but also that's combined with lifestyle what I am eating I try to keep my meals high veg um, I mean I, I hydrate a lot I don't take in, I, I try in each day to at least take 1.5 liters of water every day so yeah i exercise i try to exercise even though it's not very consistent and i'm working towards that and meditation so i'm not eager to give you a how to meditate because uh ish i can be accused of things so anyway read your bible if you are a christian you see that jesus secluded himself from people it was usually very early in the morning and it was very very quiet it's time alone whether you pick a verse and you think about that if there's something happening in your life you i I try to pick a more peaceful verse like peace be still something that brings calm and meditate on such scripture like do not be anxious seek knock you know seek ask no ask seek knock those kinds of verses that are easy to remember just think on the goodness of god as well and it's just about spending time alone with god for me and it has really helped me relinquish relinquish strength in that naturally with my personality i am somewhere between sanguine phlegmatic choleric so that's a lot of energy and that's a lot of trying to be in control of things so meditation helps me to surrender surrender is such an important such an important thing because if, even if you want to control something there's certain things you're not in control of. so it's coming back before the altar of god and saying like jesus said 
into your hands I commit my in your, your into my hands I commit my spirit and for me it's saying into my in your hands I commit my life and I'm surrendered I'm open where are you taking me what do you want to want to what do you want to do with me so yeah that's about meditation we're still on dopamine and so it says new experiences as well so depending on your level of adventure try new things experience something new if you've never played chess try to play chess do a sport go mountain climbing there's so many hills in in zambia you can go to lusaka and try and they took a few i mean and climb the Manali Hills, or if you are in Chipata, oh my God, Chipata is beautiful. But South Eastern Province, you can climb the, you know, the hills. You can, if you are not a movie-going person, try something new because new experiences give dopamine. And from the way it looks here, it seems to me that the experiencing the experiences should be should be exciting. You can go bungee jumping try the swing i don't know but try some new experiences and then the second one is oxytocin so this one is for love and connection you know me i'm all about steam i love love and i love i love the suggestions that i hear she says hugs i know for people who who are not physical touch for their love language this might be a little hard but yeah, hug people and not just hug. Like, if, obviously, within the appropriate circumstances, don't go and give a bear hug to your boss. We beg you, please be appropriate. But if it's like family members and friends, just like give people a hearty hug. It's not just for them, it's healing for you too. The next one is, is socialize. This is how we were created. Even when Adam was created, God saw that it was not good for him to be alone. He brought him company. Even if you're an introverted person, just be intentional about going out every so often i know the struggle but be intentional about going out it doesn't have to be a big social gathering but just just be intentional about connections speaking to people whether it's it's on your phone and i encourage physical connection and contact like speak to people one two three at the same time gather a group of friends it can be up to four or five and you know you can do it 30 minutes whether it's a lunch or whatever but yeah just connect with people as long as it doesn't exceed that that parameter for you where you begin to feel drained because that is an essential part for your brain health and acts of kindness this cannot be over overstated do something kind small things guys just smile say hello you see someone who is looking good tell them they are looking good you won't die you won't lose anything you see a person who needs a seat who is pregnant or older you are stronger get up give someone someone sit nothing 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 to lose those that cost you something and those that cost nothing show acts of kindness and the next one is serotonin this one is for a good mood so get some sunshine you know i'm one of those people who can wake up in the house and not step outside three days straight i have to be intentional about stepping outside so go out and get some sunshine get you some vitamin d it will improve your mood and then you should also practice gratitude again See, my love, love. Another thing we love to do is to be grateful every day. Sit down. Think of, start with three things every day. What three things? Trust me, there's always, 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 always good happening. What are the three things that have happened in each day? Write them down physically or in your electronic journal if you have one i keep both so that if i have no access to one i can write in the other and i do 10 every day what are you grateful for no wonder i'm in a good mood and then take nature walks i mean if you're in the city like me saka this is a little hard but yeah even if it's not like nature and trees you can go out and i can do a little more of these because i don't and I have beautiful roads around here. I should just walk. So walk, take nature walks, breathe in the fresh air. It will do you some good. And the last uh, happiness chemical is endorphins. So these are for pain and stress. Again, exercise, 
refer to point one. So if you're only catching us now or you fast forwarded it, go to point one. Exercise, laughter. Yo, find what, what makes you laugh. And these days, all you need to do is log on to TikTok. And trust me, you will find something that will leave you in stitches. But don't stay there too long so that you are unproductive but be intentional about laughter. It is medicine. It is good for your health. And the last one is eat some dark chocolate. Save up for some dark chocolate. Again, don't do this in excess. Once in a while, I much prefer that you focus on the access and laughter and then the the dark chocolate maybe once in three months or something i don't know but this is what i am learning and that's what i wanted to share for our mindful monday conversation for today for us to get our happiness chemicals up and pumped as often as we can and the summary of the four happiness hormones for our daily happiness chemicals for our daily dose are dopamine oxytocin serotonin and endorphins and remember i got this information from the instagram account the brain doctor do follow her she dropped some really amazing amazing tips so until the next one this has been your friend Bay the mindpreneur as always till the next one Bye.